Hi guys, welcome to another video. We had a question on one of our videos asking how to make the loop at the end of the belt reel. We prefer to have a loop rather than a clip or a shackle purely because it's less likely to foul with anything. It's a soft end and all of our guns come equipped with the long line clip on the bottom. So all you need to do is to clip the clip into the loop and not have a clip on the reel to clip into a loop on the end of the gun. It's no problem doing either or. If you don't like it, you're welcome to change it. But this is a setup we have as standard. So how do we make this loop? Cut a length of tube about 12 centimeters long. Any tube will do that's got a sufficient size hole for the two mil line to fit through. So pull out sufficient line so you can slide a bead onto the line and then tie a knot behind it and slide this tubing onto it. Once the tube is slid on, thread the trailing end through the knot before you pull it tight, then cinch it up and create the next part of the knot. This knot system is exactly the same as what we use to attach the Dyneema line to the end of your spear. Once pulled tight, throw three loops in the way shown, one over the other backing towards the smaller knot. Try not to let them overlap each other, one must be behind the other. You will need to keep these loops loose enough so you can pass the tag end underneath all three loops as shown. To tighten, slowly roll the loops, putting tension on the tag end. Keep cinching this up and then use the pliers to tension sufficiently. Once tight, cut and burn the end. When tensioned, the knot will pull into the bead somewhat. The bead is only there to prevent the whole system pulling back through the support and into the spool. You want it to lock off there and always be available. When you feel for it, it'll always be proud and easy to find. So, there you have it. How to fit a loop to the end of your belt reel? Stand by for the next. <laughs> 